best lap his or her life, and then he'll probably go away there and be gone and ask for sure to pass it his heart to any of you. And I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. It's a cry for help, but it's not that. I've known the man too long and he's not a, a bullshitter. And so, anyway, had we got minutes, I'd like him to tell a little bit of his story. Sure, that would be great. All right. Let me go switch this around. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so Rob, would you be the our face in the camera so he can see? Three, two, one. All right. One second. Here we go. Can you see Charlie okay? Yes. Hi, Charlie. He said, hi, Charlie. He can't hear you. I'll take him off. I'm going to train a little. We don't have the best audio. He said, hi, Ed. How are you? Are you still there, Ed? Yes, we're here. Oh, he has his earbuds still plugged in, I bet. So the only one that can hear is the person wearing the earbuds. He's probably going to have to unplug them for the earbuds. Yeah, you might have to. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. But you're listening through the earbuds, right? Hear me now, Ed? Yes, absolutely. We can hear you. Okay. Apparently, uh, when I unhook the headphones, I have to also go into the phone and tell it to disconnect as well. So I apologize for that delay. And the gentleman you're looking at, my buddy Charlie, and that's his people. Good buddy. As I said, um, there were two of these giant dogs a week ago, but he sadly he had to put one down. Uh, I hadn't seen Charlie in about a year. He's still robust of health, handsome as ever, dirty as ever. I told him about the woman, I would make him wash his hands. <laughs> but he's very good with his hands. He can, he can build anything. He comes from the educated man. Uh, but he prefers this companionship style life with an animal over human. On the long, in the long run. Uh, and they don't disappoint him, they're loyal, they protect him, they love him, no matter what he gives them to feed, no matter how he treats them, he don't hear a word back. He's now devoted his life to doing the same for his animals, his friends, the dog. Anyway, uh, Charlie, can you tell me uh, what John wrote to home? Wrote to home, California. Can you hear him okay? Yes, we can. Ah. All right. I moved here from uh, Houston, Texas. We had a uh, apartment, but uh, unfortunately, the job situation didn't work out too well, and I had two dogs, and nobody would let me anything. They would laugh me out of there, out of the picture. And I asked them if I could rent something, an apartment or whatever, and I was financially capable at that point in time. Hmm. So we uh, we headed to the mountains, and that's where we lived for ten years. Wow! Yeah, about maybe eight years, and we moved down to Mexico. But uh, we had uh, had our ups and downs, that's for sure. We've had good times and bad times, but uh, no matter what, these animals love me, and I've loved them. And, and uh, uh, unfortunately, I had the uh, situation. Going to put one down last week. Our little baby boy he was 135 pounds. And this, we've had an experience. Uh, we lost everything we owned uh, three years ago. Huh. We had a mudslide in uh, California here. Yeah. We slept in the uh, dirt for about three or four months until I fired a vehicle. And I have the van right now with my babies. One of them there is one. I live with both. So anyway, was, uh, was it's that a glamorous life now, but it's one that I thought I enjoyed. Immensely. I would give it up for anything. What? I tried to lift the part. Didn't see it. I hate the meat is We were uh, a little jealous here? Yeah? A little jealous. Very jealous. Of, uh, very jealous of my love for the animals. Because they just, you know, they just unconditional love. You know, it's just beautiful. And I said, to death to us part, and that's the way it should be. So for eternity. Hmm. So hopefully it's not going to end too quick. But, uh, 
tell you, I left the last one, but uh, it's been really rough. It's rough out here. Uh, the police, uh, you know, give me constant aggravation. They just don't want to uh, understand my, my situation. You know, I can't go to work because of these dogs, because every time they get arrested and go to the city pound, it costs me $500, mm -hmm. which is more than I can actually make a good job. Right. So, I didn't help this out with them. And we've been talking it out for a long time. A lot of good times and a lot of bad times. But What's a memorable one? The most memorable occasion is uh, moving to Mexico. <laughs> that would be the most memorable. We had one heck of a good time in Mexico because dogs could roam free in Mexico. And so we went to the beach every day and we hung out at the Bufadora and we drank a lot of tequila and we had a good time. Did they drink it well? I no, I don't think it <laughs> they didn't drink. They stopped when they were one years old. They were white. I cut them off the sauce. That's it. <laughs> up is it up. One alcoholic in his family is plenty. <laughs> so you do drink? Yes. Do you do any other drugs? Yes, I do all kinds of things. Yeah, but you're primarily a drinker. Uh, but yeah, I love the juice. Yeah, that's oh, for sure. I don't. But I've smoked pot my whole life, and uh, I've just never been happier than I have with like, these two dogs. I've had three wives, and unfortunately, they didn't last as long as the dogs have. So, so I'll leave it there. But uh, yeah, we had a heck of a good time. We were back from uh, Mexico. We came back here. I worked for about three years, and uh, I still camped out in the mountains. No matter then, nobody would let me anyway, so I lived in the mountains. And that's where we were for forever. Now we're living in a van. I'm hunting the beach, California. Kind of nice out here. It is, isn't it? And I'm going to go ahead and turn the picture around and let him hold the... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to do this here. And I'll let him hold the Okay, just camera. make sure he holds it sideways. There you go. And you can see what it's pulled like this. And that's the folks. And you're in the little corner. Go ahead and hold it. Oh, you know, yeah. That way you can hear. Yeah. Okay. And that's you can see. Here we are. Can we okay? Yes, we can. Can hear too. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely one of the Yeah, like I said, the audio on this thing is not that great. Right. But I just turned it half out, so maybe it was my fault. <laughs> okay, there you go. Just don't touch the sides because you got it. All right, I got it. Good. Okay. Well, that's a nice little office you got there. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's a guy. Okay. And uh, you can see that's the. See the van? Yeah. Well, all right. I do that. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through uh, his van. I'm going to pull this up. See, not switching it around. Okay. Now there's the. Can you see him all right? Yep. Great. All right. Go ahead. Just hold it on the side. What was the name of that park? Yeah, this is the van I live in now. I've uh, out of fight it about three or four times so that all three of us could be happy. And uh, it's been a wonderful, enjoyable situation. I don't regret any moment of it. And this is where we start sleeping quarters, and which I cook often. I don't. Uh, I don't accept a whole lot of charity. But anyway, this is this is our life. And that's my little baby girl. She's 14 years old, and uh, fortunately, she's lived this long. But uh, we suffered immensely. I'll tell you what. I have vet bills out the out the yin yang right now and I just can't uh, so can you hear us Ed? absolutely coming in clear yeah. and clear this thing is not a good off day um, then again I didn't find the quietest of places yeah we're just waiting for the picture to come back Okay, we're back. Is there any questions? Yeah. What, Charlie? What is? What's your next move? What are you going to do next? Probably suicide. What do you mean? My next one. I don't know what I'm going to do. I see. I'm not going to be happy camper. My heart's broken already. It's what? Oh, right. Deal with your grief. Can't afford it. 
Yeah. I just can't afford to keep these guys alive. So try like hell. You know, it's just tough. What about an, another, an, a puppy? What about what, getting another puppy? Yeah. Um, it would take way too much. He wouldn't want to put a young dog in the training required. Oh, I see. I had asked him that. Right. Just, it's too old. Uh, it's too old. Go through that. Well, you look pretty good. How old are you, Charlie? Any other questions you'd like to ask Charlie? Yeah, I said Charlie looks pretty good. How old is he? How old is uh, the female? No, Charlie. 14. No, Charlie. How old are you? He's a couple months older than me, Ed. Okay. 58. Okay, good. And Charlie, what did you do? What did What did you do, Charlie, for work? Before you lost your in in Houston, what did you do? Work prior to, and what do you do now for work? Yeah. Make money. I have uh, driven truck for UPS, waited. I've managed restaurants. I've freelance construction. Now what do you do? I just uh, take care of my take care of my dogs. That's all I do. <clears throat> So, Charlie, would it be safe to say that you've got a, at least a high school uh, diploma? Your educational pass, you've got a high school diploma? Yes, I have a high school diploma, and I've taken computer classes. I've done all kinds of training exercises. Uh, due to my age, nobody cares about it. I've got to say. Nobody cares to hire me. You hear that, Ed? Yep, <laughs> loud and clear. It's the running man. It's coming true. That's just the way it is. I mean, I've tried real hard. I mean, I've put up the applications and people well, know my qualifications, but unfortunately, due to my age, they just don't want to hire me. Do you have any felonies? Yes, I do it out. You do now? I just pick one. Okay, well, that's a pretty good run. 58 years. Let me shake your hand. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Yeah. Hey, Charlie, I didn't wonder. Yeah. Until then, everything's been wonderful. I think you would have made a nice police officer. <laughs> you know, you one for sure. <laughs> a little humor there, Ed. Yes, I know. Okay. That's great. Uh, Ed, uh, it's not an anomaly out here, though. In one sense, he, is. he has the biggest dogs. He has two of them. I notice I say, huh? yeah. Right. And uh, every other homeless has a little tiny cockatoy dog, and he can do poop. Somebody watches you. Uh, but like you said, his whole life had to change because of the dog. And, uh, you know, that's how he's lived for 14 years. And like you said, he's had some good times. He's enjoyed it immensely. But this is the hard part when it's time to go. And he's going to be left alone. And uh, it was troublesome to myself. And I thought, if Put them on camera and get some of you smart guys in there to get some suggestions in your head how we could uh, you know, mollify, or mollify or dampen or get control of what's running through his head regarding, you know, wanting to make Harry Perry. <laughs> right. Uh, and uh, I'll pass that information along. Okay. Now, um, uh, I just have one other question for Charlie. And is Would it be okay... If Brad did a little separate interview with you so he could get it on tape, too. Right. Yes, I was planning on doing that instead of the live feed, but um, I thought you would like the live feed better. But, yes, I can do that. Yeah, well, we, we love the live, live feed. It has a great impact on the students here, but um, it's not the same as if it's uh, on tape from you. Correct. Why is it that you cannot access that part of the agreement saw base that you're using? It's a technology thing. We can't we can't um, record well, for some reason we can't do a hangout on air with you and we can't record what's on the screen. Right? Okay, 
permissions or copyrights crap. No, yes, no, I no do that. it yes. doesn't have. No, it's not about that. It's just technology. We can't figure out how to capture the video on this end, and it doesn't work the way it does with our ten o'clock class through Google Hangouts on air. I've got you. So when you go to Google Hangout, you can capture it and record it, correct? A Google Hangout on air. Not just a Google Hangout. It has to be a Hangout on air. Okay. Or, or we have oh, to Ed, tape it uh, with a camera. I will do that. I, I mean a phone. Um. Hey, Ed? Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah I think I totally rid this problem of hearing you. I have a hearing. Is this his fault? Either the speakers broke, whoever had it last, loved to play loud music on it, but it's a very poor quality. I've uh, I've tried a lot of things. Either I have to find the only quiet. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh. Sorry that each time I yeah, it's the microphone on Brad. It's the microphone on our camera. The camera, the phone that you have is brand new. We sent, we bought it and sent it to you. It was shipped brand new. Nobody else had that phone. But the problem with your audio is the microphone we have here. Well, how about receiving you? Like when Charlie was asking. When you were talking to Charlie and posing questions to him, it was very difficult, and I had to post uh, both of us. Yeah, because the microphone that we have here is not good. All right, well, get rid of it. Okay. We will. All right. <laughs> Handle. That's my big frustration is thinking of the Okay, well, well, we'll take care of that. We'll get that done. All right. Is that microphone better? Yeah, yeah. hundred times. Yeah. Okay. That's why I always bring it up there. Okay, good. Well, Brad, is there anything else? <clears throat> anything else you want to go over? Uh, yeah, give me the lottery ticket for this All week's right. drawing. We'll try. <laughs> what else? <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and get a SIM card. Good. Put that uh, camera because so far I've been practicing with it, and I've. Uh, Seems to work well. It's not a bad lens on that and camera. And he holds it still. That was a pretty good at night. Um, There was a thing I tried to capture last night. Uh, I wish I had, but uh, again, I was having problems with the lighting. I see. So I get uh, videos and whatnot. I will uh, use the camera, certainly, and in the daytime, the phone. If you could think of any application or apps that I could download that might better help. Uh, you can get a stand or something that the phone can stand on. The wireless Bluetooth. I think that would be all right. And uh, you guys could hear me. I could hear you. And I could see you. And you could see me. Why? You yeah, then he's going to carry it around with you. I'm, I'm a writer. I'm a photographer. I'm a broadcasting yeah, school. Other than that. Screen yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah, that's my idea. So I'm doing okay. it now. living out of fantasy. Okay. Brad, we're going to sign off for now. Thank you to Charlie. Thank you. All right, and I'll, I'll do a, a full interview with him. Great. Thanks.